Hi and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. In this video we're going to see how we can create the queue coming from a list. So what we've got here is the actual um, list and the node and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project and I'm going to name it queue and I'm going to click finish and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste these things into new classes in the queue. But instead of naming the, the class list, I'm going to name it queue. It's not going to have a main method because we're not running the program from this class. It's only going to contain queue functionality. I'm going to create the node class. As we r remind ourselves, in these nodes, we're going to store telephone numbers and names, not student details. And finally, we have the controller class that has the main method. Okay, so we have these three classes. The queue is going to be really similar to the list. The node is going to be really similar to the node. And the controller is going to be fairly similar to the controller we created in the previous set of videos. So let's go with the node first. We're going to essentially copy the other node, but instead of name and matriculation, we're going to have name and phone. We don't have year and that's everything we have here. So remove the year, remove the int from there and this make it the phone. So what we've done is we've changed the constructor from being the name, matriculation number and year to be just the name and the phone number. We want a set name but instead of a set matriculation number, we want instead a set phone. And I'm going to rename the parameter to P instead of M. And phone equals P. We don't want a set year. We want a set next. We want a get name and a get phone. Instead of get matric, we don't want to get year. And we want a get next. So. There we have it. This is our node. And in the very next video, we're going to create the queue. So you can see this was really short. We just had to change a couple properties. So stick with me. Let's go into the next one. And we're going to see how we can create the queue from the list.